Let's talk about a puzzle, a really high stakes puzzle that every major real estate company has to solve, how to manage lease expirations. It sounds kind of simple, right? But when you're dealing with thousands or even millions of apartments, it becomes one of the most complex and critical challenges in the entire industry. So let me kick this off with a pretty wild question. What if I told you that you could perfectly rebalance the lease expirations for over 6 million apartments in less time than it takes you to blink? I know, it sounds like science fiction, right? But that's exactly the scale and the speed we're going to get into today. We're going to break down how this decades-old puzzle is finally being solved. All right, so first things first. We need to really understand the heart of the problem. What exactly is this expiration puzzle that has kept landlords up at night for decades? The dream scenario, kind of the holy grail for any big property owner, is stability. The goal is to have a perfectly even, predictable number of leases ending every single month. This means you avoid that massive wave of vacancies in, say, July, and then a ghost town in December. It smooths out your revenue, your team's workload, and your overall risk. It is, without a doubt, the ideal situation. Now, on the surface, this looks like a pretty straightforward scheduling problem. You know, just offer some different lease lengths to fill in the gaps, and you're golden, right? Well, if it were really that easy, we wouldn't be talking about it. The reality is, it's way more complicated and counterintuitive than most people could ever imagine. And this is where things get really interesting. This is where we have to separate what feels like common sense from what is actually mathematical fact. Because the key to cracking this puzzle isn't about better scheduling, it's about understanding the raw power of probability. For years and years, the basic assumption has been that you, the landlord, are in the driver's seat. You sign a 12-month lease in January, and you confidently pencil in that expiration for next January. You build your whole portfolio strategy, your whole financial model, around this idea of predictable, controllable events. But that core assumption is fundamentally flawed. And this is such a powerful way to think about it. The second that lease is signed, the control shifts. The next move belongs entirely to the tenant. Are they going to renew for another 12 months or maybe a shorter term? Are they going to go month to month or just leave? Their decision is, for all intents and purposes, a random event. Trying to predict it is like rolling a 12-sided die and just hoping it lands on January. And look, this isn't just a gut feeling. It's actually governed by a core mathematical principle called the geometric distribution. Now, don't worry, we're not going to get lost in the formulas, but think of it like this. It's the math that helps you figure out the odds of flipping a coin over and over until you finally get heads. It's the same principle for predicting when a tenant might finally land on that perfect 12-month renewal. So when you run all the numbers, when you apply the math, what is the actual predictable probability that a tenant who signs a 12-month lease will turn right around and sign another 12-month lease? It's this, only 59.4%. That means that over 40% of the time, your perfectly laid plans are going to get thrown into chaos by nothing more than pure chance. And if you're thinking, okay, but that's just a theoretical model, well, check this out. This is how we know that number is legit. The mathematical model predicts 59.4%. Real-world data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, it comes in at 59.6%. They are practically identical. This isn't a theory anymore. The math has just proven you have way less control than you think. So we've established the problem is a lot harder than it looks, but it actually gets worse. The way many companies have been trying to solve it has now become a massive legal liability. For a long time, some of the most popular software systems out there tried to beat this probability problem using one specific method, sharing competitor data. But recently, the Department of Justice has taken a very hard look at that practice and has flagged it as potentially anti-competitive. That creates a gigantic risk for anyone still using those old school systems. And this chart just breaks it down perfectly. You've got two very different paths. The legacy systems, they pool data from so-called competitors to make pricing decisions, which, as we just saw, creates a huge risk of collusion. But the new way, the F9 analytics way, takes a completely different road. It relies only on your own company's private portfolio data. This ensures you are truly competing not just copying. So, how in the world do you solve the math problem and the legal problem at the exact same time? Well, that brings us to the solution, the absolute algorithm. The engine behind this is what's called a combinatorial algorithm. And the most important word on this slide, the one that changes everything, is exclusively. 
Instead of looking over the fence at what your competitors are doing, this algorithm looks inward. It deeply analyzes the unique DNA of your own portfolio to find the absolute best path forward just for you. And the benefits of that approach are just, they're huge. By using only your own data, you completely eliminate any hint of price fixing or collusion. That immediately reduces your legal and ESG risks, and it lets you build a business strategy that gives you a real competitive advantage because it's based on your assets, not on imitating somebody else. Now look, a legally sound, math-based solution is great in theory, but the billion-dollar question is always, does it actually work in the real world at a massive, massive scale? The answer is a huge yes. Across some incredibly extensive simulations, this algorithm successfully rebalanced the expirations for, get this, over 6.1 million individual apartment units. So we're not talking about a small-scale test here. This is enterprise-level proof. And that wasn't just on one giant portfolio. That was tested across 10,000 different asset portfolios. The scale we're talking about is just staggering, and it proves that the model is more than robust enough for any major operator in the real estate world. But this, this right here, is the number that is just absolutely astonishing. The total time it took to run that massive simulation, to rebalance over 6 million units, less than 92 milliseconds. It solved a puzzle that has plagued an entire industry for decades, in less time than it takes to snap your fingers. So, let's bring it all home. We started with a puzzle that looked pretty simple on the outside. We discovered it was actually ruled by complex probability and, now, some very serious legal risks. We've seen that the old way of trying to control expirations is really just a myth, and that a new, legally compliant solution built on pure mathematics isn't just possible, it's incredibly powerful. So that just leaves one final question for you to think about. Is your strategy built on a solid foundation of math, or is it still relying on that myth?